Alright guys, as you can see this is Lenovo ThinkPad L14 and recently the Windows has reinstalled. Since the Windows reinstalled, the network driver is missing. As you can see there is no any Wi-Fi connection or it doesn't detect any Wi-Fi signal at all. So that is the driver issue and it does happen uh, frequently when you reinstall the Windows in most of the cases. So today in this video I'm going to show you how to find the right driver in many different ways okay so first of all if you don't have any third-party internet connected uh, laptop where you're going to search the driver for then what you should have you should have a USB Wi-Fi dongle okay so we tried a couple of troubleshoot as you can see there is the button Wi-Fi button I pressed it okay wireless network button but there is nothing it's enable anyway and now if you get into manage and then device manager also we can see there are kind of you know like hundreds of drivers are not there all the yellow marked hazard marked in there that means there is no driver okay so to update all the drivers, as I said, you should have another internet connected laptop or desktop or you should have a temporary internet connection into that laptop. Okay. So if you don't have another laptop, you need to have a Wi-Fi USB module. As you can see, I do have the TP-Link one. It costs about seven to eight pounds. If you try this method in Windows 10, then you don't have to install the driver. That would be automatically detected. So as you can see, once I connected, the green light is flashing into the USB. And I can see the full signal right here. So I'm going to connect into my home broadband. And then we'll start the main process. All right. So first, we're going to get into device manager search automatically for drivers if it doesn't work that's absolutely fine we can search the windows update which is the bottom option so let's try again update driver top section if not then we're going to click right here search for windows update okay once we get into the process this takes time for my one it took more than half an hour which is fair enough because there are a lot of drivers lot of big big files and folders and stuff need to download install it okay so even we don't see anything is happening except checking for updates there are a lot of things happening in the background and i believe within half an hour it should be absolutely fine okay and this is the second method if this also doesn't work for you then we do have the final one okay but if you follow this process by updating Windows, that would install all the necessary drivers without specifically going for, let's say, for the network driver, for the GPU, for audio or sound or Wi-Fi, whatever it is, network driver. We don't have to go individually. It's going to find all of them one by one. Okay. So let's say this is kind of one click. To update every single drivers for your laptop in the real time if you would like to see what is updating or not you can view this update if you click on the update history it's going to show you as you can see it shows the different different percentage for different different drivers which is downloading simultaneously okay and after install all the driver the system would ask you to restart your system and once you do restart then it should be fine but don't worry if you get failure if it doesn't work for you we'll get the third and final option how to update the windows drivers for your laptop
all right so finally all the drivers already installed now this won't require to restart it now once we do restart then we'll pull out the actual temporary usb wi-fi module and then we'll see if there is any drivers installed correctly or not Alright, so it's restarted. Now I'm gonna pull out the actual external Wi Fi module. So let's click the USB and safely remove it. Okay, it's remote. As you can see, still the signals are there. So that's mean the wireless network card already up to date. Let's pull this out. And still there is signal so you could say this is 100 percent properly up to date the network card all right at this point you have to re-enter your wi-fi password because the password directory doesn't have your wi-fi password once you do next you should connect properly okay there is another way to update drivers for your machine okay but the funny thing is regardless which way you try you should have at least a temporary internet connection either wired or wireless and I found the easiest way to use any sort of external USB Wi-Fi module okay so this is the third way that you can search for the correct driver let's say if your machine is Lenovo L14 you're gonna search Wi-Fi driver for Lenovo L14 and then try to find the official site which is right there okay and Lenovo has a little piece of software that if you install it this software would help to find the hardware model and they will search the correct driver automatically that you can install into your laptop so as you can see this one already installed and is searching we're gonna click on try again and soon this Lenovo service bridge software will be able to detect this machine the model number and everything Now finally, if you click on detect product, as you can see L14 type, model and everything. Now individually you can download one by one. But if you ask me which is the easiest way, I would say if you follow the second method, that is the most easiest way to update all the drivers in a single click. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know which one you do like. And please, if you do like, hit the subscribe button, like and share. I hope I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.